How you doing? I'm Matt Walden, pro drifter. We're here today with Mishimoto in a 1998 E36 BMW. We're going to be installing this racing thermostat today, keeping the BMW cool on and off the track. For the E36 Mishimoto thermostat installation, you will need a whiz wheel and or sandpaper, ratchet and extension, eight millimeter socket, 10 millimeter socket, 13 millimeter socket, a number four hose clamp, crescent wrench, flathead screwdriver, needle nose pliers, and a coolant funnel. And you will also need a 32 millimeter wrench as well as the fan tool for a BMW. This is a specialized tool for this car. Difficulty rating is a four out of five due to use of special tooling. And this installation will take you approximately an hour and a half to two hours. First step in working on the BMW in any Mishimoto product is to remove the negative battery terminal, which is located in the trunk. After you've removed the battery, next step is to jack up the vehicle and securely support it using jack stands. All right, make sure the car is completely cooled off before this next step. We're gonna be removing the radiator drain plug out of the bottom of it, and that's gonna be right here. Make sure you have a drain pan ready to go as well. While you got the bottom draining, open up the radiator cap. That way you can actually get some flow coming out of that bottom, the bottom of the radiator. Next step is to remove the front intake duct air dam and stuff. And that's gonna be taken off by removing four eight millimeters head size bolts. And the alternator duct as well. And that one's held on by a hose clamp right on top of the alternator. Take off the upper radiator hose here and these two hose clamps. Next step is to remove the lower radiator hose. And this one actually you can get to from inside the engine bay. There's two clamps, one on the lower side of the radiator and one right on the front of the engine. After you have the hoses off, next is to undo the upper radiator mounting points. These are a little tricky. What you do is you put a flat blade screwdriver down in there like that, press the tab apart, lift, and pull it out. Should be able to pull this hose right off. And we're gonna be replacing this with a regular worm clamp. And the next step is to remove the fan shroud from the radiator itself. There's push pins on the top sides of the radiator. Remove this temperature sensor from the side of the radiator. There's a push clip on the bottom. Once you get this thing loose and separated from the radiator, you're gonna to wanna to pull the radiator straight up and just make sure she's out of the way here. All right, once you remove the radiator, you gotta unclip the hoses from the side frame rail and put the shroud off to the side, as well as the sensor on the bottom of the coolant reservoir. Next, you're gonna need the BMW fan removal tool. Place this on, as well as your 32 millimeter wrench. Loosen the clutch fan. The fan is uh, screwed on counterclockwise, so it's reverse thread. You're gonna be removing one 13 millimeter head and three 10 millimeter head bolts for the thermostat housing. Once you've removed the 13 millimeter head and the three 10 millimeter head bolts from the water housing, you can slide this out of the way. That way you can gain access to the OE thermostat. When installing the Mishimoto, there is no orientation. Just keep this on a horizontal plane, just like this. After the thermostat is installed, go ahead and replace the thermostat housing cover and replace the bolts that are in there. The clutch fan on the BMW and most other cars is reverse thread. You keep that in mind when you're screwing it back onto the water pump pulley. 
Slide the BMW fan tool over the two 10 millimeter nuts on the water pump pulley and turn the wrench to tighten the fan. Next step after the clutch fan has been reinstalled is to reinstall the fan shroud. That can get slid down in there. Don't forget to plug in the coolant reservoir level monitor. You want to re-secure the hose back to the frame rail utilizing the factory zip ties. Set the radiator down in. Make sure that the, these rubber posts sit right in their holsters down below. After everything is secure with the radiator, make sure you plug in the coolant temperature sensor on the side of the end tank. For our next trick, we're gonna install Mishimoto supplied hardware to hold the fan shroud in place. Once the fan shroud is securely fastened, you can button down the top radiator stays as well. A number four hose clamp is gonna be required for reinstallation of the upper bleed off tube. Time to install the Mishimoto hoses. What you wanna do is get your hose clamps ready to go on this. Slide it on the upper water neck here and one on the top of the radiator and screw them down. Make sure they're nice and tight. That way you don't have any leaks. After you got the upper hose on, time to install the lower one. Feed this guy up. Make sure you put the hose clamp on this hose before you feed it up through there. After you got everything all buttoned up, install the front air dam. You're good to go there. Now that we got everything buttoned up, we're ready to attach the negative battery terminals back on the batteries. After everything's buttoned up, we can go ahead and begin refilling things. Half water, half antifreeze, fill, refill the system. Don't be surprised if it takes a little bit more than what came out. After the radiator is all refilled, go ahead and turn the car on and turn the heat on high. That way any air bubbles in the heater core system can escape through the radiator and through the water neck. After you start the vehicle, you wanna watch the temperature gauge on the dash and make sure it doesn't overheat. This concludes the installation portion of your new Mishimoto product.